Hey everyone, I'm gonna go ahead and tag some people real fast and then we'll get started. Everything ready for you. <clears throat> this is for the Jack Daniels barrel. I wanna make sure everyone who said they wanted to be here gets to come and watch. I know this is a hard time with all the kids going back to school and everything, so I'll probably get started and hopefully everybody will be able to catch up. I'm going to pull you down in just a second, just a few more people. And if you know of anyone, make sure you go out and share this so that people can jump on and watch that have forgotten. So. Let me come over here and pull up our events so I can follow along and answer any questions. Hey, Stacy. Hi, Zoe. Y'all ready to do this? Hi, my baby's on. She just gave me some love. My Miss Kia is on. Hi, Valerie. This is going to be a lot of fun. Um, let me turn down my volume before I turn it on. Hopefully I'll be able to see your remarks. There we go. Hi, Miss Rusty. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything you're going to need before I, I bring you down. I do have my iPad over here, so hopefully I'll be able to answer questions as we go along. All right, so what we're making is my version of the, um, the barrel. Now, everyone has a different version. This is just the one that I like to make. And so I have everything set out here. This is how we're going to start it with the plats. I'm gonna show you how to put the wood in, okay? Super easy to do. Hi, Cindy. Um, hi, Jessica. Um, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need alcoholic of your choice. It's just basically that way. Um, I'm going to be using espresso and of course teak wood. Can't make anything without the teak wood. I do have a few more down here I might throw in, um, one of which is going to be the, this is called Sunset Yellow. And then from Pinata, I also have the uh, Calabaza Orange. I don't know yet if I'm going to use those or not. So, Cindy, I don't know, babe. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to hear me. I turned it up. I mean, I don't quite have my, my mic set up yet. It's getting there, it's getting there. Okay, so what else you're going to do is I've got that set up. And I wanted to show you also what I have it set up in. I have my tray set up and you put your alcohol ink here and then you put the bottle right here so that you know what ink is in that bottle. This is $2.99 over at Hobby Lobby. So you would put your ink, squirt, 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 and then you would put this right next to it so that you won't say to yourself later on, oh no, I don't know which one that is. So, um, that's an easy way to keep yourself organized. Make sure I have everything down here. I do have my oregano, but I don't think I'm gonna use it. I usually do when I do some type of wood grain cup. You're going to need alcohol and a container to hold it in, um, simply because um, you don't wanna spray your cup, because if you do, it's going to get little dots all over it. You are going to need um, paint brushes. And paint brushes are totally up to you, however you decide you wanna do it. This is normally what I use. Can you tell it's very loved? Hi, Gigi. Um, yeah, I know, I was your re you were the reason I saw that and I thought, oh yeah, I have to have that. Hi, Nika. Okay, so this is my obvious uh, wood grain brush. Um, you want it to be as, out there as possible. This is not gonna be used on anything else. Trust me, that wood grain is not coming off of there. Um, other brushes that you can use um, are going to be makeup brushes that you're not using anymore. Clean them out and then you have some really great makeup brushes to use. This is another good one to use. Um, these are great as well. And this one for your uh, the knots that are in your, hi babe. Uh, the knots that are in your um, your wood grain. 
I'm gonna try to show you that today. Gigi taught me how to do it today and I was at Hobby Lobby watching it at the same time, so I'm hoping that it kind of helped things sink in. I have lots of others over here, but I think I'm just gonna stick with these. Um, for my slats, the lines that we're gonna be using, I do have this brush right here. It is a hard bristle brush, brush hard bristle brush. Now I'm using the smaller painter's tape. You can use bigger. I'm using smaller because this is a small barrel. If this were a big barrel, these would be normal size. That's what was in my head. How you decide to do it is completely 100% up to you. You are gonna need paper towels um, and I didn't bring it in here. I'll have to, to have my family bring it in here. You're going to need a sealer because you're not gonna be able to move on. I'm actually I'm probably gonna go in the other room and do it because I'm gonna be spraying it um, with a sealer because if you don't and you move on to your next step, alcohol removes alcohol. So therefore, when you put your alcohol ink on, it's going to remove these slat lines and you don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna bring you down and let you watch me. My little area. Okay, guys, I hope that you can see what I'm doing. I'm waiting for my computer, to, my iPad to catch up. Anyway, so we're going to start with this. What did I do with everything? We are going to need our gloves. I don't know if you've ever worked with alcohol ink before, but if you have, then you know that it will make a mess. So you at least need one glove to hold the cup so because you don't want alcohol ink all over your hands and we're going to start with the darker color which is going to be our espresso this is what's going to help us have our lines drop some in here I went to Hobby Lobby earlier I know I've said that a couple of times but they were out of everything I was trying to get some more browns to work with all right, here we go. I probably should have my glove on the other hand. Ooh, a big old pile with me. I don't know what I did with them. I just tore this one. We're just going to have to take it off later. All right, this is going to go directly onto the cup. There's no mixing it with alcohol or anything. You're going to go right over those slat lines. This is another thing that you can use on like your, um, your, um, shipwreck cups is these slat lines and when you paint over them again later they get darker and then you'll be able to see them now you don't want them so dark that that's all you see you want them just in there enough to leave the lines in there isn't it pretty though? Gigi, it's really pretty, I love this. I'm gonna go directly onto the cup, I think. It's just gonna make it faster. Just like this. And actually, I was going to go get the, that caramel color you were talking about earlier. I don't remember what it was, but it was, it sounded like a really pretty color to use. Easy, easy, easy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is going to be. Um... Now you can what? Let me make it a mess already. I wonder why you couldn't see the cup. Miss hmm. Sabrina's just joined. Everybody say hello to Miss Sabrina. Oh, you didn't know why earlier I had the painter's tape on there? Oh, yeah. This is why. You know, and some of this may get under the tape. That's okay. There is no piece of wood that is going to be perfect. Perfect. 
Now guys, um, about two hours ago, I uploaded the, um, the lines that we're going to use on this later so that you can cut your own lines. We're also, I also put the, um, the logo. I can't put it directly on the page, but I did put it in the event. So make sure you go over there and get it so that it doesn't fall into the neverland of you can't find the SVGs. But the logo that goes on the barrels is not the logo that people have been putting on their barrels. Um, it's different than what's on the front of their um, bottles. You know, if you'll go look at their barrels, their barrels have something completely different on there. All we're doing is adding the slat lines in here. I'll leave in just a minute and go seal them so that when we take our next step, my neighbor's on. Hi, Joseph. I'm trying to get Mr. Joseph to get over here and do some lives with me, guys. He's the bling master. But anyway, if you do not seal this, the next time you put alcohol ink on it, the alcohol ink's going to pull up your lines. And all of this work will be for nothing. Ooh, guys, all of you guys are doing it fast. I am too. Welcome, Tina. I know, it's a lot more fun to watch them live. So, this is the mess we have so far. Now, the slat lines on your boat are going to be just, um, they're going to be off and not perfectly straight together. You'll have your slat line here and here and here and here. It's just the way they're put on here. On the barrel, it goes from top to bottom. There is no deviations in the, um, the lines. And again, I chose to use the smaller painter's tape. There is bigger painter's tape that you can use. It depends on how big you want your slats. I decided to pretend that this was a big barrel that shrank and now we have small slat lines. My lines aren't going to go all the way to the bottom because putting a straight piece of tape on a curved cup is not the easiest thing in the world to do. If you've tried it, you know what I'm talking about. Does anyone have any questions about what it is that I'm doing this moment? This is a good method to know because you can use so many different colors. I just watched a live earlier and she was using blues and it was so pretty. And then she put um, like the the cowhide print at the bottom. It was really, really pretty. You could do that or you could do the leopard print, which is a big thing right now. Every kid at our school has a leopard print. Something, backpack, folder, mask. Can't say anything. I wore my mask today that was leopard print. Well, quit being busy, Joseph. Being busy is a good thing, but yet it's not when I want you to get over here and do lives with me. Joseph lives literally right next door, guys. So when I say I want him over here doing lives, I mean I want him over here right next door. And I would like to have lives like on Friday nights where we have guests come over that do different type of things to their cups. I have one friend, Miss Kim. I'm gonna get her over here. And she's going, she does lots of beautiful things to her cups. Okay, so this is what we have now. And now I'm going to go into my garage and I'm going to spray this because I don't want to do this in my house. Um, and as soon as I get it sprayed and it chills out, we will pull the tape up. Don't leave me, people. I'll be right back.
here and start barking. Okay. All I sealed it with was my Krylon Color Max Clear. I am making a barrel that we're going to turn into a Jack Daniels barrel. So the first thing I'm doing to it is we are putting slats in it so that it looks like it has, um, it's been made out of plank. And so now I'm going to dry it up so we can go a little faster. But if you do not seal it, as I always say, alcohol ink moves alcohol ink. Regular alcohol is going to move regular alcohol, um, your alcohol ink. So you want to make sure that you seal this before you pull everything up and move on to the next step. But all the work that you're doing right now is just going to disappear. All right. We are ready to go. Next thing we're going to do is we're pulling up all the tape. Be able to use those it is way too hot in this world right now no rhyme nor reason to the way i'm pulling it up i'm just pulling it up as you notice some of the ink ran it's okay wood is not perfect but we have our lines that will be our slats mess until you know until the end and then it just happens and that the way all creations go the hot mess until the very end and then bam you've got beautiful I actually kind of like how that looks I think it's so cool looking now I've got to sit around and wonder how I'm gonna get that look on something <laughs> who knows not going to do the bottom I'm gonna leave that alone but you guys can do the bottom if you want I'm not real big on doing the bottom of cups I don't know why it's just been kind of a thing with me lately okay so the next thing we're going to do is our regular wood grain and it's probably one of the easiest things I've ever done and the most irritating at times, I guess you could say. As I said, we have different brushes to choose from. This is one I'm going to use because I use it on all my wood grains. I am gonna use this one. I am gonna use this one. And I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, they all do something different. Um, these might come into play. I don't know yet, but I've got them here just in case. You can use whatever brush you want to use that makes you comfortable. These just happen to be the brushes that I like to use. Okay, I did need to mention something to you guys, especially to those who are new. You can try, but it doesn't work. You can do your wood grain on your stainless steel. doesn't work. And if you do your wood grain on top of acrylic paint, it's almost impossible. I haven't seen it happen. It's almost impossible to get a, um, a beautiful knot in it because it, the, for whatever reason, the, the paint starts getting wet again and then it just becomes a big muddy mess. All right, this is my teak wood. I'm going to add some more oregano to my container here. And those are the only two I'm gonna have for right now. If I add more, they'll start evaporating. All right, here we go, people. I'm just gonna go up and down, just like this. Let me 
beautiful color. It's when you start brushing on it this way that you start getting the wood grain look out of frame and I apologize. Now guys, you don't have to clean your little containers out. If you wanted to use them again, just add a little bit of alcohol and you've got alcohol ink again. How cool is that? Don't worry about these spots right here. When we go back over them, they will be covered up. But if you've noticed, my slats have not moved away. In fact, they've gotten a little bit darker, but they're still covered up and they're not too prominent. They're still there, but they're not like, whoa, those are a lot of plaits. So we'll get some texture, just like that. All I did was pat my brush down and gave it a little bit of texture. I'm making the biggest mess over here all over my arms you think I'd have learned by now well Beverly please be careful come back and see us Oops, getting away from me but I'm glad you were able to make it hello Miss Donna I'm so glad everyone's able to jump on with me tonight was a little worried because with school starting I know that it's like the time that people start winding down with their children and then you have people like myself whose kids are off in college or self-sufficient and I get to have fun and play with you guys I hope that's okay anyone have any questions about what I'm doing so far I love teak wood. Now listen, this is actually, yeah, this is teak wood. Now one of the things that I've learned about teak wood is, if you do not seal it, teak wood is going to turn green. I know there are some people who say, oh, I don't seal it. Well, if you know me and you know my lives, you should be able to repeat after me or say along with me, seal it, seal it, then seal it again. If you have put that much work into something, you want to make sure that you're sealing it enough for your work to last. So all you have to do is put Mod Podge on it. You don't need to spray it. Put Mod Podge on it. Then when it dries, put more Mod Podge on it. Yes, I spray painted white. Then I put on the tape. Then I used uh, teak wood. And then I sealed before I removed the tape. And that's what gave it the slats. Now I'm adding the texture in by going one direction. I'm not going back and forth. I'm going in one direction. And then in a minute, we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that what I was taught sunk in. But that's how you get the up and down. Add a little bit more to it. Don't go as far down. And you can get those, those grains that you get in wood. Oh, my friend Diana just joined me. Everyone say hello to Miss Diana. Hello, Diana. Do y'all see the wood grain coming in now? Let's see, did I get it all? Just want to make sure that we have some kind of texture that looks like wood. I think I'm gonna make myself a shirt and make everybody confused when we're out in public. Seal it, seal it, then seal it again. Make it go down a little, some more up here. And then we're gonna work on that knot. Who's ready to learn how to do a knot? And who's gonna pray for me that what I do 
actually works out as pretty as Gigi's does. Praying because I'm nervous. So did you notice that when I put the, the dot of alcohol here and then I moved it, alcohol removes alcohol, so it's gonna leave a little streak. That's okay for right now because that's gonna start being our knot. I'm about to move on to the next thing. Here we go. I'm going to use, is it this one, Gigi? Then that, this one? I'm put my little stuff in here and we're gonna pull over our alcohol. This is where this comes in. Make sure that you dab off your brush. A little bit. Here we go, people. You're going to push a little bit too much. Push your you see it forming right there? Push, push, push that alcohol ink. Now I'm gonna make it a little smaller. it to get a little more texture in we'll be adding more alcohol ink to this but here's where your knots coming in Do a little dry brushing All you're doing is pushing your alcohol inks to make lines like burned knots. You're pushing that ink up and down. We are going to add more in here. No, Zoe, what did you say? I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Hey, Wendy. Just pushing it up some more. Miss Shanna is on. I do go back over all of my comments later on, but I would love to answer it for you now. Do a little bit of dry brushing. All the dry brushing does is it pushes all of that there to the spot that it needs to be and helps the alcohol ink to dry in these areas right here. But do y'all see how the knot is forming? Okay, next, a little bit of alcohol. Do I seal it? N no, I don't. Okay, let me make sure I have your question correct. Do you seal the white? No, I do not seal my white. Um, there's no reason to seal the white because you're. if you do, as you see, the slats didn't come up. You want the white to help have a place to put your alcohol ink. We're about to go dark, guys, dark, dark. Is that helping you any with the... I hope so. And Kim, I'm always here. You guys just message me anytime. I don't want y'all to ever think that I am... Y'all are bothering me because you're not. It's what I do. I enjoy teaching. All right, we're going to add a little bit more and push it up. But we're not going to push it as high. We're just adding on to it, making it smaller as we go along. And then we're going to put the inside of the knot. You guys message me anytime y'all have questions. Anytime. Add a little bit more of this doohickey here. I think this is my tea wood over here. 
paint alcohol now you don't have to clean your brushes but you don't want so much alcohol on it that it actually causes the stuff not to stay and guys Gigi was so kind to walk me through this earlier so I think I finally figured it out okay we can put a smaller one over here it doesn't have to be this big but remember it can't be all you're doing if you watch really close is I'm just pushing the ink up and pushing it down now I'm going to use my dry brush to dry this out and push that ink up and down just like that and we're making the hole in the center smaller and smaller and smaller Okay, a little bit more alcohol ink, make the hole smaller, and it's like a burn in the wood, you know how that goes. Somebody's always got to be a little bit fire happy. And remember, you have to have your alcohol, precious, precious alcohol, you have to have that because that's what's helping to move that alcohol ink to form this knot. Dry brush, let it dry. All right, I'm gonna do this a few more times and then we're gonna start on that center with the smaller brush. All I'm doing is blowing it. I don't want to do much more dry brushing because it pushes it too far for at the point where we are. I want to go ahead and start filling in this knot. Okay. Now we've got that far out. We're gonna start working on the center of this knot. All I'm doing is blowing on it, trying to get it to dry out some, because the next step, you have to let it dry, because if you don't, I'm gonna use my teak wood. If you don't let this part dry, some, all I did was drop a drop on there. Then when you put your alcohol on it it will once again start disappearing so at this point we're making our center I'm going to dry it some with my heat gun which is not got a long cord you don't want it completely dry but you don't want it wet okay. it's not completely dry but it's not wet okay now this is where the little brush comes in this one right here, my itty bitty dress. I'm gonna, there you go, so you can see this. These are makeup brushes, guys, and you can get makeup brushes at the Dollar Tree that work just as well. These are just makeup brushes that I already have. And if this doesn't work, we can move on to the next one. And all I'm doing is pushing again, and I'm filling in, and I'm gonna move on to a little bit bigger brush. But do you see how it's filling in, giving it that texture that you want it? You were all worried about that center, weren't you guys? How is she going to fill that in? Well, this is how you do it. It's too much. And basically what you're doing after you tap it into a little bit of alcohol is you're dry brushing to fill it in. Remember, alcohol moves alcohol. Go ahead and pull some of this. A little bit more. 
more teakwood. And there you go, guys. What do you think about that? Keep pushing it and you play with it and you play with it until you get what it is that you want and then you stop and move on to the next knot. You can play with this all night, but don't stop until you get the look that you want. Thank you, Gigi, you're a good teacher. in the center. I love this part. Watch this part. You add it in and it spreads out. Haha, <laughs> I say that and it's not spreading. Go figure. All I want to do is get that center a little darker, so I'm going to wipe. I'm going to dry this up. Okay, it's not wet but it's not dry. I'm gonna push my ink a little bit more to the top and to the bottom. And all I'm doing guys is pushing that alcohol ink up and making the hole smaller and smaller and smaller until I get the look that I want. I need a bigger brush for this. What brush wins today? This brush wins today. He's so excited, can't you tell? And just keep pushing and pushing and pushing. Get the desired look that you want. Almost done, everybody. Almost. And again, remember, on the events page, I need you guys to go look, is the, um, the SVG that goes with this. I don't want y'all to end up losing it. I can't post it in the files because it is Jack Daniels. And y'all know how people feel about stuff like that. So y'all go get it, please. Go get it out of the events. I put in a ping, a ping, an SVG, and a PNG, SVG, and a JPEG. So you guys can go choose whichever one works best for you. I've got what I want there. All right, so that is my wood grain and a mess. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to decide if this is enough texture. Remember how I did my texture earlier? If you're wanting more of that wood grain look, go back to this right here. Add some alcohol to what's already in your plate. Don't waste it because once you add alcohol, it becomes alcohol ink again. Make sure you brush out as much alcohol as you can and just push it. And you're gonna get in the slatted look that you get with wood. And you can add some more ink in here if you want. These are the looks that you get with the wood. And all I'm basically doing now is I'm not even adding anything to it. This is just the alcohol on my brush. Add a little bit more of this to my alcohol brush. And just give it a little bit of color. Speaking of color, let's move on to our next color. Do y'all see how those slats are coming in? 
We're going to add a little bit of yellow. Please don't get mad. We're doing it. It is just going to happen. Okay, here we go. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Remember, the barrels for Jack Daniels are not going to be dark wood. Their barrels are aged. So I'm adding in the yellow to give it that Jack Daniels wood look. Just like this. So it's not so, oh my goodness, it's so dark. We don't want it dark. Ooh, that was a lot of alcohol. Anybody have any questions? Thank you, Barb. It's my first. I had a good teacher. Add a little bit more yellow. Brush that in there. Just to get that dark look out. Basically, you're dry brushing up and down, not side to side, to give it that textured look. Now guys, we could do another knot if you want me to, or are you all ready to get off and do your own? You just let me know. I have a spot right there we can put a little knot in. I think I'm going to need to add a little bit of dark here. What do you think? It's the same concept. All I'm doing is pushing that alcohol in just to get it to move a little bit. It's just a texture. See. Well, I think that, Tina, you need to make him a Jack Daniels bottle. Christmas is coming up. Y'all need to start getting into that Christmas spirit of making Christmas gifts. All I'm doing now is just brushing on alcohol. I'm not doing anything special. Not adding any more alcohol ink, just some alcohol, just to rub that in a little so it'll get some of those, that, uh, that um, texture that wood has. So it's basically dry, dry brushing. dab it some like this to give it that texture some wood has at the bottom because remember this is aged wood you don't want it to be perfect I think that this is the spot that needs a knot what do you think guys right here a little knot so let's get started remember we start with this brush right here so if you want to see how I did the knot you get to watch it again less dark. All I'm using is alcohol to push the alcohol ink. Okay, we're going to start one right here. We're going to use our espresso and we're going to push the alcohol out. I don't want it to be too big because I'll be here all day. I'll be watching me make knots all day. All you're doing is pushing the alcohol ink up and down and to the side. Closer so y'all can see what I'm doing. A little bit more alcohol ink. Down and up. Okay. 
You see it coming in? Okay, push it out again. All I'm doing is taking my alcohol, guys, and taking what's already in the bottom of the contain of the plat and adding to it alcohol to it. Just taking out what's already in there. I'm at a disadvantage, I'm doing this at an angle because I want to make sure that you guys see what I'm doing. Remember to dab your brush before you do this because it will remove all the work you've put into it. Does anyone else have a, a crafter's face that you use whenever you're crafting and nobody else sees your crafting face? It's like when you put on mascara, you can't do it without your mouth being open. There you go. What do y'all think of that? So I'm going to do a little bit more in here. I'm going to make sure that everything has filled and I'm happy with it before I move on. And then I'm going to seal it. I want to make sure that everything I do is safe and that I don't get rid of all the work that I put into this. So I'm going to seal this with my Krylon Color Max. If you decide to use Mod Podge though, people make sure that you um, seal it at least three times. But if you use Mod Podge or you do seal it, your um, your teak wood will not turn green. And if it does turn green, it will turn bad. So this is how I do my wood grain. I hope that I was able to help you guys out a little bit on those knots and I am always here for you I'm just adding in a little texture with a dry brush okay. next we're going to put our logo and our what I have here is I've sent you four lines it looks like three but four will cut because you have your center lines as well. You'll do one, two, and three and four on your on your lines. And then I sent you eight of the rivets. You're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need to cut it out twice. So you're gonna have 16 rivets in all. Then when you lay down your, um, your logo that I sent to you, lay it across the center in between those two lines. You can do whatever color you want. I like to do mine in gold just because that's what I like to do. But you can do it in any color that you want. If there's any questions about this, I'm always here for you. Really, you know, I always have did it. I've always used that much ink. Ashley, this is the Jack Daniels cup. Um, but, and um, Janet, I've actually used three different colors too. So, thank you, Sid. Zoe, I hope I, oh, how did I get them so dark? Okay, after I painted my cup white, I then laid down my tape. And then I used my dark color to go over the top of the tape. And so that way all the slats in between, because I left a little spot there, all the slats in between were, um, were colored in with the alcohol ink. Then I sealed it. And after I sealed it, I, um, was able to come in and do this over the top and it just keeps making your slats darker and darker and darker. That way, the lines that are making up your slats are gonna to continue to get darker, but if you don't seal it, 
it's never gonna, it will always uh, come up because alcohol removes alcohol. Always, and alcohol will move alcohol. So anyway, there's my cup guys. I hope I was able to help you. I'm gonna play with this a little bit more over here with this, this um, knot. I want it to look a little bit less dark, but I am always available for you guys. You are welcome to message me anytime, Jennifer Stratton Short, and um, I will do my best to help you out as much as possible. Um, you're not bothering me. I will answer you as soon as I get a chance. Remember, I am a teacher, so I have go to school and teach little bitties every day, little bitties uh, 18 months to kindergarten, and then I come home and I can check and see what it is that you need to help with and I will gladly answer if I can. So you guys have a fantastic day and I hope to see you again soon. If you do make this cup, Ashley, I saw that. I want a picture of it, please. I like to see the work that you do with the stuff that I help you out with. Alrighty, I really, really do. It makes me feel very, very special. All right, guys, you have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye. Take care.